Hi, I'm James Muir. Welcome to another Make More Noise screencast. What I want to do today is talk about parallel processing. So got a little session up on the screen, standard drum kit. I've strip silenced the kick, the snare and the toms. And then I've grouped the whole drum kit together. As you can see here, all sending on bus one to a drum bus. On each channel, I've got a SSL channel strip. On the drum bus, I've got V-Comp, just grabbing the whole drum kit and holding it all together. Master bus, SSL comp and Kramer tape. So all of that is standard series processing. Parallel processing is where you take a spur off your audio signal and send it somewhere else. The advantage of this being you can then mix it back in with the original. So what I'm going to do is set up an example on our drum kit and come back to you. So as you can see, what I've done is I've instantiated a guitar stomp and then the uh, gate comp pedal, sending uh, from our drum bus here to bus two, where we've got our guitar stomp instantiated. And then I've got uh, aux two in solo. So we're just hearing the output of the stomp, which sounds like this. So that's pretty squishy and splatty and probably a little bit distorted. And because we're just going to use this in parallel, we can even go a stage further and use the gate here to just focus in on the kick and the snare sounds. So let me just roll that gate up and we'll give another go. And this should just really bring out the kick and the snare and make those pop. And now the bottom line with parallel processing is we can mix that back in with our original drum kit signal. So I'm just going to unsolo aux 2, turn it down to zero, and then I'll mix aux 2 back in gently and then mute it so you can hear it with and without. So that should give you a flavour of what you can do with parallel compression. You can bring up the kick and the snare, you can add a tack to them, you can bring out the room sound of the drum kit a little bit more, but all the time you can maintain your original signal so you're not messing too much with the tone you worked hard to get when you were recording. Uh, I'm going to do something slightly different now with the bass, so rather than using a send uh, to create our parallel, I'm just going to do a copy of it, which I'm just doing by an alt drag in Logic, and let me set up an example here, and I'll play you some sounds, bear with me a second. So on our parallel bass track here, we've instantiated uh, Renaissance bass, and we've set it to a preset called Fuzz Bass, which is just brilliant for this kind of job. Uh, so let's take our newly created channel and just have a listen to that in isolation. <laughs> But obviously in this example we've changed the tone a bit too much, so I'm going to zero that out again like we did earlier, take it out of solo, bring our original bass back in at the level it was earlier, and then I'll do the same thing again, I'll mix the parallel back in with the original signal till hopefully we get the best of both worlds. And finally, I'll play the whole rough mix again, just bypassing our two parallels. So hopefully you can hear a bit of the energy, the focus and the 3D-ness goes away when it's in mute. And that's parallel processing with Waves plugins. I've been James Muir. Thanks for watching.